Hello friends, welcome to the CSM Q&A Corner, Mastering Information Security, Multiple Choice Question and Answer Series, Set 18. Let's start with the today's first question. The first question states, which of the following is the most important element of information asset classification? The options are, option A, residual risk, option B, segregation of duties. Option C, potential impact. And option D, need to know. Friends, in this, the correct answer is option C, that is potential impact. Right? Because classification level must be based on the level of impact that would occur as a result of compromise. Right? Let's discuss the other options which are incorrect. Coming to the option A, that is residual risk. Friends, residual risk is unrelated to asset classification. Right? That's why this option is incorrect. Moving to the option B, that is segregation of duty. Friends, in this also, the segregation of duties is a control unrelated to asset classification. Right? That's why this option is also incorrect similarly moving to the option d that is need to know friends in need to know is a control indirectly related to the asset classification that's why potential impact is the most important element of information asset classification among the given options friends that's why option c is correct moving to the next Question. The next question states, which of the following is the most effective way to ensure that the non-compliance to information security standard is resolved? The options are periodic audit of non-compliant area, option B, an ongoing vulnerability scanning program, option C, annual security awareness training, and option D, regular report to the audit committee. Friends, in this, the correct answer is option D, that is regular reports to the audit committee. Friends, because reporting non-compliance to the audit committee is the most effective way to have enforcement for the concerned parties to take the proper action in order to comply. Right? Let's discuss the other options. Moving to the option A, which states periodic audit of non-compliant area. This option is incorrect because periodic audit can be effective but only when combined with the reporting. Right? That's why this option is incorrect. Moving to the option B, which states an ongoing vulnerability scanning program. Friends, this option is also incorrect because vulnerability scanning has little to do with non-compliance with standards. Right? Moving to the option C, that is annual security awareness training. Friends, this option is also incorrect because training can increase management's awareness regarding information security right but awareness training is generally not as compelling to management as having individual names highlighted on a compliance report that's why the regular report to the audit committee is the most effective way to ensure that the non-compliance to the information security standard is resolved among the given options Friends, here we come to the end of multiple choice question and answer series. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.